Hi, Lisa. Um, you elaborated that the last three years haven't necessarily been your best. Yeah. What do you think God is teaching you or is, is leading you through this with the shack? I, I wish I could answer you. I don't really know yet. I mean, that's part of what Sarah and I and Jesus and people who are close to me, we're all talking about right now. I, I, I know this. I was in a better space years ago, three years ago, talking to people, doing things, because there was less glitz around the life, less stars in people's eyes. Wayne Jacobson was just a brother. Now, oh, Wayne Jacobson, aren't you connected with the shack? And then it's, it, you spend all your time crawling off a pedestal that you don't deserve and don't earn. Celebrity in our culture is a lie. It is a lie. We are all born of flesh and blood. This, the success of this book has nothing to do, I don't think, with who Wayne Jacobson is, even who Paul Young is. I think God wanted to have a conversation with our culture. Who is he really? Is he the angry bully who's bullying people into religion? Or is he the father of a, he's the Abba for all of us to find refuge on his lap? That's what I love about this book. I love being in that dialogue. That book has opened incredible doors to be in that discussion. That's the good side of it. The bad side of it is the scale of the things I'm involved in now, the amount of email I get, the amount of stuff that comes through my life. I can't spend as much time with people as I think needs to be done. I don't think much happens in a one-hour presentation in a theater. I think most of wonderful things happen because 20 people sit down in the living room and talk out this journey. Yeah. And having, I'm having a harder time finding the rooms of 20 because 200 people want to come. I said, we're going to have it in a the theater. I'm going to get out of your mind. No, they're going to have 250 people want to see me. And then he said, we had to fill it twice. I'm going, okay, that's really sick. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, I, I, this is the space. The space I'm in now is the quote-unquote publisher of Windblown and the publisher of The Shack. I mean, people in the industry say, well, you're, boy, you guys are the new publishing guru. No, we're not. I, I think Paul, Brad, and I would say this is an act of God. God asked us to be part of this little thing in various measures. God's done this thing in a culture because he wanted to have a discussion. The danger is for us to believe that we did this. Amen. That's the danger. Thanks so much, Wayne, for just that. Right that now, nugget, yeah. Letting us know that it, it, it turns on that. It turns on that. Is if we start to take credit or anyone starts to take credit, um, yeah. God doesn't share his glory. Like, look at Susan Boyle. You know, she, everybody knows who she is, you know, because of this song she did in, in, in Britain. Is her gift any less a year, a year ago? The gift of God, is it validated because millions want to hear it? That's the false lie of our culture. Everybody wants to be the star in, you know, music, whatever. It's all false. Chris? The reality, if, if the shack isn't about Jesus, then I really don't want to be talking about the shack. If you go out of here going, oh, the shack and Wayne are really cool, the night's a failure. If you go out of here going, man, I want to know that God. I want to know Wayne's father better. We've had a good time. I hope that's how we can.